Matt and Squad, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yo, in today's video, we are going to take a look at the top 10 players that you can get right now for under 200K. Barely. So let's start things off at the most important position on the football field. It is at quarterback, and I've been using this card probably since it dropped. It's the 95 overall Super Bowl pass, Doug Williams. Now, he comes in as a 95 overall. He has 92 speed. He has 96 throw power, 90 short, 90 medium, and 92 deep accuracy uh, with 96 throw on the run and 97 throw uh, under pressure. Now, if you're not able to get that Bo Jackson that everybody's using, it's okay. Doug Williams, I promise you, would be a great pickup for you, especially being at 106K. Uh, right now, you can put, I think you put up to 7 AP on him, 5 AP just to be safe. His player specific, man, you could go hot route master. That's what I believe I'm using. Set feet lead. And then um, if you have a light up token, you can put a uh, gunslinger on him and he's and it's on for the entire game. So that's six AP that you can put on this quarterback. Uh, the hot route master is a must. I'm telling you right now, that's probably one of the best uh, abilities that you can put on your quarterback. Uh, and then set feed lead, of course, leads those wide receivers into open spaces. I think if you're looking for a budget QB, this is your guy. All right, so let's go to the wide receiver room. This card is fairly new. It is the 97 overall Chris Collinsworth. Yes. He was a football player before he became a commentator. Uh, he comes in with 97 speed, 95 acceleration, 92 agility. He's got 97 catch, 98 catch in traffic. He's got 95 release with 92 short, 97 medium, 97 deep route. And he's going to cost you at about 196K. Now, personally, I have not used this card yet, um, but I'm looking at speed and release for these wide receivers. And I think this will be a great pickup. Uh, the two wide receivers that I have right now, Randy Moss and Nico Collins are going to cost you a pretty penny unless you did your ultimate legend, uh, challenges and got the free Randy Moss. And unless you got uh, Nico Collins from the sugar rush, Chris Collinsworth would be a great player for you. I think you could be, put him in the slot and he'd be a great, uh, pickup. And here's a look at some of the abilities that you could put on his player specific. He gets deep elite for one AP red zone threat, uh, for zero. Don't ever use runoff elite. That's just a uh, um, a bad ability. Uh, but again, in his player specific, he gets two buckets. He gets deep elite, red zone threat, and runoff elite. Um, personally, I wish he would have got like slot apprentice or something like that in one of these tier buckets. But you can put it on him for two. Uh, he gets slot omatic for three. I personally, if I picked this card up, deep elite would probably be a pickup or red zone threat with be the two abilities I put on him. Uh, here's a look at his X factors. He gets ankle breaker, double me, grab and smash, max security, rack him up and yak him up. Again, if you pick this card up, man, I think you can put him in the slot. He comes in at six five one ninety two. You might actually be able to put him on the outside, and he'd be a really good receiver. He does come in with that physical wide receiver trait. Here's another budget wide receiver for you. Somebody that's gonna have speed. On top of speed, on top of speed, Marquez Valdez Scantling, MVS, the Super Bowl present wide receiver, 96 speed, 94 acceleration with 95 agility. He has 89 catching, though. That's the only downfall on this card. Uh, 91 catching traffic. He has great route running ability, 94 short, 94 medium, 93 deep with a 95 release. Again, 6'4", 206. Um, I've had this card for a little bit. He just got out of my lineup uh, within the past couple of days because of uh, adding um, uh, Randy Moss, but you can put some pretty good abilities on him. He gets red zone threat for one route tech for two deep out elite for one evasive for one and playmaker for one. Uh, when I had this card, I had um, rack them up as a light up token uh, and slot. -o -matic. I actually was slot. -o -matic. I use slot. -o -matic as a light up token, put him in a slot. He's going to get, um, crazy routes um he's fast if you have a chiefs theme team packers theme team he'll get up to 99 speed for you uh definitely a card that you need to look into if you're looking for a budget wide receiver staying in the wide receiver room this card has been a menace for players all year all right this is the calvin johnson megatron card the redux version 
uh, 95 overall with 96 speed, 95 acceleration. He's got 92 catching with 93 short, 95 medium, 97 deep with 96 spec catch, 91 uh, release, 97 jumping. He's 6'5", 236 pounds. And as we look at the abilities, man, this card is disgusting. Deep elite for two, medium in elite for one, route tech for two. Uh, honestly, you might not even need to put anything on this card. You just let him be him. He gets double me for zero, unstoppable double me for zero. You just throw this ball up and let him go be great. Unstoppable route tech for zero as well. This card is a menace. And if you pick him up, all you got to do is high point the ball and let him do his thing. All right, so let's move to the offensive line. You got to have a really good offensive line in this game. The pass rushes are insane. Uh, Garrett Bowles, arguably one of the best left tackles in the game right now, uh, comes in as a 96 overall. He'll cost you about 170 k uh, here's a look at his, his stats, man. 93 strength, solid, but it's the blocking, man. Run block is up to a 98. Pass block is also at a 98. Impact block is a 96. Um, he comes in at 6'5", 300 pounds. Uh, I like this card because of the abilities that you can put on him. He gets nasty streak for one, post up for one, secure protector for one, edge protector for zero, identifier for zero, or linchpin for zero. Uh, when you go into his tier four, he gets some of the same stuff. Uh, also in the tier three. And then if you want to put uh, anything else on him, he gets fool me once for one, matador for one. Arguably some of the best uh, offensive lineman traits is on this card. Personally, I would go nasty streak and if, well, no, secure protector and then identifier or secure protector and linchpin uh, would be the two abilities that I would use on this card. Uh, you're only getting you're getting two abilities for one AP, so you can't go wrong there. Uh, and if you take a look here, man, again, I love Mutt GG because that's what they, they tell you what's the popular abilities that the certain players are using. And as I mentioned, identifier for zero, secure protector for one AP. And again, this card is going to cost you like around 168, 170 just to be safe, uh, but a really good upgrade at left tackle for you. All right, so let's go to the defense side of the ball and. You're going to see a lot of Super Bowl players on this list because they are starting to fall crazy in price. 95 overall Warren Sapp, the Super Bowl pass defensive tackle from the Bucks, is a monster on the D-line. 90 speed, 95 strength, 94 play rank. He comes in with 94 finesse move, 95 block shed. He's got 90 tackle, 95 or 95 hit power, uh, 98 block shed, and 97 impact block which is crazy. 62303. Um again, if you pick this card up, man, it's going to cost you 135 to 130k uh depending on your uh system. And he's another one of these cards that has great abilities on him. Uh I have him on my team right now, so I run inside stuff and secure tackler on him. Um you can also get a light up token to put on him and he'll get interior threat for 0, uh an unstoppable force for 1 AP. Then he gets run stuff or light up for zero AP. Uh, if I had an extra token, light up token, I would definitely go interior threat. That shuts down all runs coming up the middle. Um, he is fast off the ball. He causes havoc in the backfield. And if you can pick him up for 140, 130, 30K, I promise you he would be an exceptional player on your defensive line. All right, so the last group of players we're going to be talking about are in the secondary. The back half of your team that's really going to make an immediate impact for you. Uh, let's talk about at corner, Charles Woodson, the ultimate legend. Uh, this card right here, a problem, man. I've played against it a couple times, and it is disgusting. Uh, you can get him from just under, I mean, just under 200K. Uh, he comes in with 97 speed, 95 acceleration. He's got 97 man, 97 zone, 97 press with 89 catching. He, does, he comes in as a zone corner. Uh, but you, I believe he plays multiple positions. So you can put him at free safety or at strong safety. Um, and it doesn't really, you know, do drop down his overall. And here I look at his abilities. Uh, again, he's more of a zone cover corner. You can put deep out zone KO for one AP or flat zone for zero AP on him. Uh, me personally, if I had him on my team, I would probably put deep out zone and flat zone on him. Um, you can put him in the slot, have him play underneath. Or you can put him on the outside, taking away uh, the deep corner routes 
or play him underneath to have him take away like the flat zones and all that stuff. Uh, I think this card is going to be legit. 97 speed with 95 acceleration. The coverage ability is great too. I'm not a big Packer guy. You guys know I love my Bears, but this is one Packer I'll probably add to my squad. So here's another budget corner that's on my squad as of today. Dominique Rogers Cromartie. Uh, he's 6'2", 205. He's the NFL Combine card. Uh, 97 speed, 96 acceleration, 97 man, 95 zone when 88 press and 84 catching. You can get him for about 170 right now on Xbox and just over 200 on PlayStation. Now, his stack for abilities, real solid, man. He gets Acrobat, deep route KO, mid zone KO for 1 AP. Uh, or you can go medium route, pick artist, and short route KO for 1 AP uh, in his second tier ba uh, bucket. Taking a look at the stacks that some people are using right now, pick artist and acrobat. You can go pick artist and mid zone KO, or you can go one step, step ahead, which is what I use, pick artist and deep route KO uh, all for one AP. You also can get shut down, um, pick artist and acrobat for zero AP. So uh, personally, like I said, I run deep route on them, pick artist and that one step ahead NFL combine. Now let's talk about safeties. Jair Brown, 95 overall Super Bowl present. And big shout out to him, man. He had a hell of a game in the Super Bowl, with mate, which made it an even better card for us in Mud. all right? He's got 96 speed, 97 acceleration, uh, 93 agility, 96 man coverage with 92 zone, 87 press, 88 catching. He also has 97 hit power as strong safety. Uh, this is another one of the cards that I have on my squad. Now, when I tell you that he it was a good it was a good deal for him or for us that he had a good game uh, in the Super Bowl, he now gets deep route KO for one AP and deep zone KO for one AP. Uh, before I believe it was two AP, and then in his second bucket you get flat zone uh, or medium route for one AP, or you can get pick artist for zero. I run pick artist and deep zone KO on him, uh, but he can get a light up token, and you can put uh, mid zone KO on him. You can put uh, pick artist. You can put reinforcement on them. This card is insane, y'all. And if you can pick it up for, like I said, it's under 150, I believe. Here's a look at what everybody has on pick artist, deep zone KO, uh, mid zone KO, pick artist, deep zone KO, all for one AP. Actually, this is a God stack right here. He could play all over the field for you. Mid zone, pick artist, and deep zone KO. The problem is you have to get um, that light up token. I think you have to put another card into him uh, for him to be all the way maxed out. Yeah, because he be, he'll max out to 97 speed. Again, under 130K, 128K for this card is a great pickup. Now, the last card we're going to talk about is a user card for you. Now, he's going to be a little bit more than 200K. And by the time you see this video, hopefully the card price came down just a little bit. But it's the out of position Randy Moss right outside linebacker ultimate legend card comes in as a 95 overall with 97 speed, 95 acceleration, 97 change of direction. The card has 95 hit power, 95 block shed, 92 man, 95 zone, 93 catching and 95 spec catch as a user card. This is insane. He gets some uh, okay abilities. You can put Lurk Artist, which is the only ability that you really need to put on him. Lurk Artist for 1 AP. Don't look to put anything else on him. This card is uh, a diamond in the rough, yo. Like, everybody was shocked that this card came out today. Um, I was too. When I first saw it, I thought, okay, it's just trash. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. It's an out-of-position card. But with that 97 speed as a user, he's also 6'4". You can, that 97 speed, you're going to be making a lot of plays with him, man. Lurk Artist is the only ability that you need to put on him. And if you pick this card up, please let me know how he plays because I want to pick him up. But as of today, there are none on the block. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for the 10 budget beast players that you need to be adding to your team today. Yo, down in the comments section, let me know if I missed anybody and who else should be on this list. Again, we've got some more videos coming up here real soon, more gameplay videos for you guys to check out. And if you're enjoying this, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're brand new. And don't forget to ring that bell, join the Noti Squad. And make sure you guys check out all those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, IG, and come through and join the Discord fam too, man, for more mutt talk, all right? I'll talk to you all in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.